क्लास इलेवेंथ सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अवर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी दैट इज द लोको मोशन एंड मोमेंट सो इन योर न्यू रिवाइज सिलेबस फॉर दिस ईयर यू आर ओनली हैविंग इन दिस चैप्टर दैट इज द मसल्स एंड देन वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट स्केलेटल मसल्स एंड स्ट्रक्चर और कॉन्ट्रैक्शन मैकेनिज्म एंड देन द कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल प्रोटीन दैट इज़ ऑल फॉर दिस सेशन दैट इज इन अवर स्कूल एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज़ गोइंग टू कम बट येस डेफिनेटली फॉर योर नीट एग्जामिनेशन कम्प्लीट चैप्टर चैप्टर विल बी आज टू यू बट हेयर फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू कवर दोज टॉपिक्स विच आर वी आर गोइंग टू which are going to be asked in your school examination so i'm uh, we am i have started with the introduction today that is about the muscles so as everyone knows that what is the basic you know uh, if i ask you that what is the basic function basic principle that is muscles what are they doing in your body what is their role their main role is in the movement yes many times we say uh, this word locomotion and movement now in this these two words many students they have confusion see always remember these are two words which have their different meaning movement movement as you can see that is um, plants can also show movement animals can also show movement movement is basically we are referring to any part or any body part which moves if i draw a plum simple a plant in a plant it is leaves which moves right they move with the wind with their uh, movement there are the few specific movements also uh, in the plants through which they move right so when leaves moves they come in the category of movement but they are moving they are changing they are uh, just they can go into this direction like sunflower it can bend down right in the uh, sun direction so that is moving but they they are not changing their position so it means they are not doing locomotion uh, if i talk about the organism like amoeba it what it what it does for its food capturing it extend its pseudopodia then there is a food vesicle which is formed and then food is captured by amoeba but amoeba is at a one place only it is only uh, extending its pseudopodia so what is this term it is known as movement then it comes the locomotion locomotion means change in position when we move from one place to another place then you can confidently say okay ma'am this is locomotion and locomotion as you know that this is shown by higher organism by mainly it's not shown by plants it is shown by animals only but then there are few examples um Th there are those uh, organisms also we have which have flagella and flagella is the structure which help in these uh, locomotion uh, part right so like chlamydomonas how does it move because it has flagella so it can swim from one place to another now you will call this as a movement or locomotion this is a locomotion phenomena right when you are moving when you are changing your position from one place to another then it is locomotion suppose i um suppose uh, imagine that i'm teaching in a class but i'm standing at a one place but my hands are moving my eyelids they are also moving so they, that is a movement that is movement of my hand that is a movement of my eyelids right so but i am at a one position when i will move when i will go uh, to each and every student then i have, you can say that it is a loco motion so then uh, because our chapter is name is loco motion and movement right and we know that the structure which play a major role in this phenomena that is the muscles so what are muscles they are the definitely this is tissue specialized tissue and they arise from a layer they originate from a layer that is known as mesoderm and what is the basic function of mus muscles they are helping in locomotion it means they are elastic in nature they are not rigid they are elasticity they 
if elasticity is there then they can extend extend also so extensibility when we say we are moving we are moving from one place to another it means that time your muscles are doing something they are contracting they do excitability they are they can excite so excitability contractility extensibility elasticity they uh, these are the functions of muscles i always give a very you know small trick to learn their functions it is the basically uh, you can say three e r's right it is basically three e c uh, I, or you can say three e c e c right electrical company anything you can remember with that that is the three electrical companies three electrical companies means means three e's means excitability extensibility and elasticity and c is for contractility now the next is uh, which uh, the thing which uh, is uh, can be asked to you in your examination in your school examination definitely uh, there can be three marks question that can be asked that is to be asked because this chapter is actually very important and now that has been maximum of the portion has been deleted iska matlab isme se to obviously jitna bacha hai usme se se to questions aayenge hi aayenge so three main types of muscles ninth class mein भी हम डिस्कस करते हैं ये चीज दैट इज कैलिटल विसरल एंड कार्डियक मसल्स राइट तो बेटर इफ यू ऑलवेज राइट देम इन द डिफरेंट फॉर्म just draw two lines and write them in the differentiate uh, form don't make the paragraphs when you are making notes please skeletal muscles what are, uh, they are unbranched muscles first thing you need to understand here they are unbranched same as your visceral muscles they are also unbranched that is the cardiac muscles which are branched then if we talk about their nuclei skeletal muscles they are multinucleated let me show their structure so as you can see this is their nuclei so they are so many nuclei so they are multinucleated but when i uh, say smooth muscles they are also known as smooth muscles so these visceral muscle they are uninucleated as you can see their structure they have just one nuclei and cardiac muscles they are also uni nucleate they are branched but they are uni nucleate they are branch structure they are then skeletal muscles they have alternate light and dark bands just look here they have these kinds of dark then light portion dark then light portion dark then light portion so they have dark and uh, light bands dark band is known as a band and light band is known as i band light is known as i band and dark is known as a band as you just look at their name um let me see it dark dark da again say dark kaun si awaaz aa rahi hai a sound dark or just say light light which sound is coming that is your i sound right so it is i band that is a very beautiful way to learn them you don't need to understand that uh, you don't need to just uh, rote learning do rote learning here ki a band kaun sa hai and i band i band dark so it will be a band light light so it will be known as i band so because it has alternate light and dark bands so we are calling it as striated muscle ye bilkul waisa hai jaise ek shirt mein checks hote hain they are exactly they have striation dark line smaller line uh, light line dark line light line dark line light line so they have alternate dark and uh, light bands विसरल मसल जो होते हैं दे डू नॉट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ स्ट्राइशंस सो बिकॉज कैलेटल मसल्स के पास स्ट्राइशंस हैं सो दे विल बी नोन एज ट्राइटेड मसल्स विसरल मसल्स दे डू नॉट हैव स्ट्राइशन सो दे विल बी नोन एज अनस्ट्राइटेड मसल्स नाउ कम टू योर ब्रांच दैट इज द कार्डियक मसल्स राइट कार्डियक मसल्स दे हैव स्ट्राइशंस right they have striation so these muscles they are also striated muscles right so visceral 
कार्डियक और स्केलेटल में हमेशा डिफरेंस की फॉर्म में नोट्स बनाने हैं हमेशा जब भी कभी हम रिवाइज करेंगे हमेशा ऐसे ही रेडी होने चाहिए आपके नोट्स सो दीज आर स्केलेटल दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज ट्राइटेड विस्ट्रल दे डो नॉट हैव डार्क एंड लाइट बैंड सो दे आर अनस्ट्राइटेड एंड कार्डियक दे आर स्ट्राइटेड मसल्स ना लुक एट देयर स्ट्रक्चर अब जो भी आप बनाओगे तो स्ट्रक्चर उसका हेडिंग सब हेडिंग डालेंगे हम स्ट्रक्चर सो जस्ट लुक एट देयर दिस इज अवर लेट मी मार्क दैम दैट इज द स्केलेटल मसल्स आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्केलेटल मसल्स सो बिकॉज दे हैव डार्क लाइट डार्क लाइट बैंड एंड दे हैव मेनी न्यूक्लियाई सो दीज न्यूक्लियाई एट दे आर एट द क्लोज टू द मैम्रेन नाउ द प्लाज्मा मैम्रेन वट इज पी एम हेयर दैट इज द पी एम हेयर इज पी एम मीन्स प्लाज्मा मैम्ब्रेन एंड प्लाज्मा मैम्ब्रेन ऑफ मसल इन केस ऑफ इट इज़ नॉट नोन बाय द नेम प्लाज्मा मैम्ब्रेन इन मसल्स इट इज़ नोन बाय द नेम सार्को लेमा सो वट इज दिस स्ट्रक्चर नोन एज सार्को लेमा देन लुक एट दीज रेड कलर डॉट्स दीज दिस इज द साइटोप्लाज्म विच इज थ्रू आउट द मसल्स एंड दिस इन द स्केलेटल मसल एंड दिस साइटोप्लाज्म इन द मसल्स इज नोन एज सार्को प्लाज्म तो प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन की जगह अभी हम क्या बोलेंगे सार्कोलैमा और साइटोप्लाज्म को हमने क्या बोला है मसल्स में सार्को प्लाज्म ऊपर से इसके पास कौन सी दो स्ट्राइशन हैं ए बैंड एंड आई बैंड एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम भी होता है इसमें एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ऑफ स्ट्राइटेड मसल्स इट्स नोन एज सार्को प्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम इट इज नोन एज सार्को सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम वाई दीज मसल्स कैलेटल मसल्स दे नो दे नीड सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम बिकॉज दीज सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम दे स्टोर कैल्शियम आयन्स एंड कैल्शियम आयन्स आर द मेजर आयन्स विच नीडेड फॉर मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन सो विच आयन्स वी नीड फॉर मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्शन दैट इज द कैल्शियम आयन्स हु इज द स्टोरेज हाउस फॉर दीज दैट इज द सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सो दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अवर विसरल और यू कैन कॉल दैम एज द स्मूथ मसल डिपेंडिंग ऑन द स्ट्रक्चर एंड दीज आर अवर कार्डियक मसल सो जब आप स्ट्रक्चर का हेडिंग लिखेंगे देन यू हैव टू ड्रॉ दीज स्ट्रक्चर स्केलेटल में ये स्ट्रक्चर ड्रॉ करेंगे हम राइट एंड विस्ट्रल में दिस इज द स्पिंडल शेप स्ट्रक्चर एंड हैव यूनिन्यूक्लेट ना दिस इज कार्डियक मसल्स एज यू कैन सी अगेन दे हैव डार्क दे आर स्ट्राइटेड डार्क पोर्शन लाइट पोर्शन डार्क पोर्शन लाइट पोर्शन देन दे हैव दीज डिस्क कार्डियक मसल्स दे हैव दीज डिस्क शेप स्ट्रक्चर एंड वी से दैट दीज हैव ब्रांच स्ट्रक्चर सो एज यू कैन सी दे हैव टू ब्रांचेस सो दे हैव ब्रांचेज ऑल्सो एज वेल एज दे हैव दीज डिस्क शेप स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट थ्रू आउट द प्रेजेंट इन द कार्डियक मसल एंड दीज डिस्क शेप स्ट्रक्चर इट इज नोन एज इंटरकेलेटेड डिस्क एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ इंटरकेलेटेड डिस्क इज टू transmit uh, impulses for muscle contraction basically ye signal transmit karti hai it transmit signals from one area to another so that the muscles they can contract so what is the function of intercalated disc to transmission of the signal or the impulses right now this is our um, let me write down with the uh, red one skeletal and this is our our visceral muscles right so let's quickly see the and a um, few more points Skeletal muscles they known because they are most mostly this these are the muscles which are attached with the skeletal portion of our body and they are the major part which help in locomotion and movement. Now you know that your body our body it has bony portion right it has bones so as you can see these bones now these bones are not directly attached with the muscles no. 
it doesn't happen these bones they are attached with the muscles with the help of interconnecting structure that is known as tendon as you can see this is muscle this is our muscle and this is the bone and this is attached with the structure it is known as a tendon so bone ke basically bone is a hard portion right and muscle is a these muscles they are striated ones they are the they are the excited elastic portions so they are connected unko dono ko join kon karta hai tendon they are not directly attached with bone they are attached with the help of tendons a bone muscle ka attachment kaise yaad rakhenge now boy iska bhi ek mnemonic hai boy topped in maths okay b boy ka b le lo that is your bone m ka muscle le lo maths ka m le lo that is muscles top topper ka t le lo that is tendon so boy topped in maths it means bones attached with muscles with the help of tendon mujhe nahi lagta iske baad aapko kabhi bhulega right so boy topped in maths so bones attachment with muscle is topper that is the tendon cardiac mu uh, visceral muscle smooth muscle they are involuntary muscles okay see skeletal muscles you can move your uh, arms you can move your legs according to your wills according to your will apni marzi se move kar sakte ho so they are uh, voluntary muscles but can you move your intestine uh, muscles according to your will no so visceral muscles because they are present internal organs so they are they basically they are present in the internal muscles in the inner side so they are involuntary muscles like example rhythmic contraction of intestine it is controlled by visceral muscles these muscles they are under control of ऑटोनॉमिक सिस्टम राइट ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम जो विसरल मसल्स होते हैं आपके स्मूथ मसल्स होते हैं दे आर कंट्रोल ऑफ ए एन एस नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कार्डियक कार्डियक के पास दे हैव अल्टरनेटिव लाइट एंड डार्क बैंड सो वी आर कॉलिंग दैम एज अ स्ट्राइटेड मसल्स दे शो ऑल्सो सम now their problem is actually they are between they show some characteristic like voluntary like they have uninucleated uh, like uh, sorry they uh, voluntary like they have striations but involuntary like they are uninucleated so they show some characteristic of voluntary muscles and some characteristics of involuntary muscles these are because skeletal muscles movement is under our will so they are known as voluntary muscles as the smooth muscles they are present in the visceral organs so they are known as visceral muscles or smooth muscles or involuntary muscles because their movement is not under our control what about the cardiac cardiac as you know that our heart show rhythmic contraction and relaxation they are also involuntary muscles obviously their their movement is not under our control so they are involuntary muscles so skeletal so they are voluntary smooth they are involuntary cardiac they are involuntary now as i told you that this is bone right and uh, this is the muscle and this bone portion it is connected with the help of tendon right so the, if i have to draw the structure of the muscle then what will be the what will be the cross section of a muscle let's see so this muscle at it has a um, first layer it has a outer layer which is known as epimycin the outermost layer in the muscle it is known as epimycin then this muscle it has ye cross section hai matlab maine muscle liya aur usko cut kar diya now these muscle they have this is a big muscle inside this muscle they have some muscle bundles right as you can say they are muscle bundles blue color circles these muscle bundles they are known as muscle fasciculus 
दे आर नोन एज मसल फेसिकुलस और दे आर नोन एज फेसिकल इफ यू आर मार्किंग मेनी तो दे विल बी फेसिकल एंड इफ यू आर मार्किंग ओनली वन दैन इट विल बी मसल फेसिकुलस नाउ दिस मसल फेसिकुलस इट इज ऑल्सो कवर्ड विद द लेयर इट ऑल्सो हैव अ लेयर एंड दिस लेयर इज नोन एज पैरीमाइसिन right outermost layer that is epimycin that is in the bigger muscle then it has muscle bundles it has also covering which is known as perimycin now this uh, muscle bundle it has muscle fibers it has muscle fibers and these muscle fibers also they are covered by these are covered by endomycin so quickly let's see a big muscle which has bundles muscle bundles and covered by and these muscle bundles they are known as fascicles muscle fasciculus and they are covered by perimycin muscle fibers then these muscle bundles they have muscle fibers and these muscle fibers they are covered by endomycin right they are covered by endomycin let me show you one more as you can see these have this fasciculus has fibers and this is covered by endomycin innermost endomycin right this green layer it is endomycin now all these in between these muscular bundles there is a presence of a tissue because it is connecting them each with each other so it is known as a connective tissue so this is the cross section of a muscle which has fascicle which has uh, muscular bundles which has muscular fibers right so this is all about our lecture 1 next we are go will talk about the uh, skeletal muscle work that how do the skeletal muscles work 